Chip Wright. Phil Stratton reporting from the Palazzo di Congressi, where the men's team foils in fencing is taking place. This is for first place between Russia and Italy. The first Italian fencer with the mustache there, now on the right of your screen, is Manturati, and he is fencing against Sisikin of the Soviet Union. Germany has clinched third place in this competition by defeating Hungary. Hungary is fourth, and now we're having the match for first place in the men's team foils. Italy, by the way, eliminated the United States nine to nothing in the first round and has gone all the way to the finals now to fence against the Russians. There are four men on each team, and the match is just about to get underway. They're testing the weapons now. The string that you can see, or wire, behind the fencers is an electronically controlled device so that when a touch is made, it, it uh, registers electronically. Everything seems to be in readiness now. Mantirati on the left of Italy and Siskin, Siskin of the Soviet Union on the right. Manjarati of Italy, the left-handed fencer, has scored a hit against Sisikin of the Soviet Union. Another point for Manjarati of Italy, who now leads two to nothing over Sisikin of the Soviet Union. No hit. The Italian on the left, the Russian on the right. Italy leading in this match. Two points to none for Russia. Mantirati of Italy and Sisikin of the Soviet Union. No hit is the ruling. The Russian there uh, checking his foil. Five points to win, and Montiarati of Italy has two already. A fine exchange. As Montiarati has scored his third hit and now leads three to nothing. Gil Stratton speaking from the Palazzo de Congressi.
a stop hit on the Russians attack by Mangiarati of Italy. He now leads four to nothing over Sisikin of the Soviet Union. This, the finals for first place between Russia and Italy in the men's team foils. And there it is, a beautiful parry and a hit by Mandarati of Italy as Italy leads Russia and wins the first match five to nothing. Gil Stratton speaking and saying so long. Well,